Broncos go out now, the nominal favourites for the Two East Challenge Cup in 1992, and why wouldn't they be? Superb performance at Lang Park on the opening day. A team with a tremendous amount of depth and a heap of class, generating probably more so than anything else off that little bloke out on Lang. Steamy day, Eric Weisel Oval in Wagga, the venue. Willie Kahn and Kerrod Walters. That man worked hard in Brisbane. Mark Hone. And now Wally Lewis leads the Seagulls onto the field. They were impressive. They were colourful in defeating Eastern Suburbs on that same day that Brisbane won their match against um, Cronulla Sutherland, it was. Let's have a look at the teams now. There's the Broncos. O'Neill, Hancock, Khan, the wing. Curry, Johns, the centre. Renoff is out. Langer and Walters, your halves. Madison, back of the scrum. Gilmeister, Can second row. Lazarus, home, front row. And Kieran Walters is the hooker. And they're coached by Wayne Bennett. There's the, uh, the Seagulls, Peacock, Moore and Thorne on the wings, Martin and Shearer the centres, Lewis and Twister the halves, Horsnell the back of the scrum, Freestone Gill, Todd Herring and Jackson, and of course their captain and coach by Wally Lewis. Got a great reception from this crowd down in the Riverina of New South Wales as he led the team out. Paul Vorton joins me with Peter Sterling for this match. And I'm wondering, can the coast take it up to uh, the Broncos and give them uh, a run for their money, Paul? Well, the Broncos, uh, judging by their first game, they're red hot, they're in form. The Gold Coast played some enterprising football. Uh, I've got my doubts as to whether they can win because the Brisbane have got so many classy players. But there could be an upset on the cards because they've got uh, Lewis in good form. Dale Shearer had an absolute blind of the first game. Denny Peacock and a couple of good front rowers in Jackson and Todd. Ian Parnaby has got this match. There's the man. He's blowing the whistle. Gavin Allen is on the run on uh, in the run on side for the Broncos. Gavin Allen in 16. Alan Can is on the bench, and I see Tony Curry is in jumper number 54. Apparently, young Renoff, who was a, uh, a death in the family, and that's the the reason for his late withdrawal. Sunny day, windless day. Neither side taking advantage of uh, any wind conditions. Broncos from right to left. Semi final berth at the end of it. <laughs> Willie Khan gets us away with this quarter final. The Seagulls and the Broncos. Played by Brent Todd. That's um, the other front row at Jackson. They've done a changeover with their jumpers. And now it's the block forward. Horsnell getting it out towards the quarterway line. Lewis. Stepping around home, Julian O'Neill folding back to his own 32 to bring it back. A very good test for the Brisbane side in this game. They beat a 12-man team in their first game, Eastern Suburbs. Steve Deacon sent off early in that game. They were very impressive, the Gold Coast. They're up against a quality outfit in the Broncos here. They probably bought well better than any other team in the competition, the Gold Coast. And plenty of... Uh, Work to be done by the experienced players, as Paul Borton mentioned, Dale Shearer, Brent Todd, and of course, Wally Lewis. Gilmeister. Five tackles gone for the Broncos. Langer. 
going down towards Danny Peacock able to step around Langer Curry wraps him up together with Hancock 10 metres away from their own line Clinton Moore Oh, Todd ran into a real tackle and a half from Mark Hone and Trevor Gilmeister. They cannoned him into the ground. Have a look at this again. And a bad mistake here from Ray Herring, taking his eye off the ball. Brent Todd able to get a ball away, being picked up in the air, and Herring really paid no attention to, to support play. Through Walters, Johns, now Khan. Lewis has got Khan wrapped up. 10 metres away from the Seagulls line. Johns again. Kerrit Walters a dummy half. Langer calling it to the left. Langer, Hone. Pulled down by Gill. 10 metres out from the line. Away now for Madison. Holds it back. Put down 5 metres out from the line. The Broncos putting the pressure on. Kerrit Walters tries it himself they tried to pull him across the line and hold him up in goal Madison Langer Langer with a shorter ball away for Walters now for Johns and Johns has been wrapped up by the defense that's the turnover so the Seagulls equal to the task in defense in that six uh, tackle set there for the Broncos yeah, very good defence here by the Gold Coast. Uh, Brisbane spread the, spreading the ball out wide, but the Gold Coast, they spread the field well and they covered the ball extremely well. Probably not a bad way to start being under so much pressure early on in the defence. It's a good confidence thing for them. They'd obviously like to get out of their own danger territory now. But to hold out this Brisbane team for so long, that'll put them in a good, in a good frame of mind for the rest of this game. Gill. Back for the kick for Lewis. Madison tries to put some pressure on him. O'Neill goes back, but the Lewis kick is a beauty. Finding the line down on the Brisbane 22. Tremendous kick by, uh, by Wally from 10 metres out from his own line. Well, how many times have we seen Wally do this, whether it be for Australia, Queensland, Brisbane, or any other Gold Coast? He's a master at it, and uh, some valuable yards gained there for the Coasters. Scrum just outside the Brisbane 22. Kevin Walters. Langer. That's Hone. Should be a very good clash between the two 5'8s. Wally Lewis and, and Walters. Really similar kind of players, I believe. Good ball players, good kicking games. And I'd say that the, the way that that contest unfolds may well determine is the shape of this match. This is Lazarus. Langer going from left to right, looking for numbers. They made the numbers. Johns gets his pass away, picked up by Khan. But Peacock brings it back off the kick. Good tactics here by Brisbane, switching the play. Alan Langer uh, going down the blind side, uh, had three players outside, and they made some good yards. Now yeah, the Gold Coast with the ball. Let's look to them to spread it out wide. Way now for the lock forward, Horsnell. Spun away by Brent Todd. It's been picked up by Tony Curry, though, for Brisbane. So that's a bad mistake there, but a penalty goes to the Broncos anyway. A penalty against um, the Gold Coast for not allowing the man to play the ball, Tony Curry. And a chance for Terry Madison. Have a look at it again. Yes, we see the ball just slipping out of Jason Twist's hand there. The ball coming from Brent Todd. I think I've seen Brent Todd pass the ball more in two games of football with the Gold Coast than in all his days at the Canberra Club, and I'm sure that's something that Wally Lewis has developed in him. Unfortunately for the Gold Coast, that time the pass did go astray eventually. Now an opportunity here for Brisbane to register first points, courtesy of the boot of Terry Madison. That was a mouthful. Finally got it out, but in this game, it's interesting to see the clash ray of uh, Lazarus against Todd, the former Canberra teammates for, what, four or five years. They won premierships together. Now here they are, they've split. One's gone to Brisbane, one's at the coast, and old teammates up against each other. Nothing like it. Madison. 
25 meters out attempt at first points just off center kicked fine against Canberra this one is away just wide to Madison unlike him he normally makes no mistakes with kicks like that nil all Lewis bringing it back to the 22 Lewis drives it down the ground to Julian O'Neill outside the 40 Peter Gill getting involved in the defense Gilmeister Hone Mark Hone gee had a great game against Canberra and looks like he's gonna carry it on into this game as well Langer puts Walters through a gap Peacock comes at Walters Robin Thorne comes in from the wing Brisbane now Langer across now from Madison it's broken down but play on says the referee no he doesn't he blows it up excellent defense there from a majority of the the Gold Coast side but none better than Wally Lewis in that final passage of play came up put a lot of pressure on Marcone and forced the mistake very good play from the 5-8 scrum 18 meters out from the Seagulls line won by them Peacock no score early minutes of the clash the quarter-final clash between the Gold Coast and the, the Brisbane Broncos now we've got a Gold Coast player injured it's a leg and I tend to think it might be the second rower Scott Freestone Jackson Lewis big kick again O'Neill on a long run back O'Neill making the mistake but not backwards well how's that a knockback Ray I thought the ball was propelled forward you didn't think so well I didn't think, didn't think so Paul I didn't think too much about it I wasn't aggravated by the decision, put it that way. Gavin Allen. Here, yeah, watching it on the replay, this... Well, it's definitely some, some it's reason. forward, right? Turn it up. Backwards, you're kidding. Walters for Madison. Wanger. Khan. Over the halfway, bending off player after player. Now the uh, attack arrives with him. Kieran Walters for Langer. Langer gets it for Johns. But this uh, has been ruled forward. Yes, and Lewis appealing for a penalty there. It won't be awarded, but again, some very good scrambling from the Gold Coast side. The initial break made by Willie Kahn. Some good support play. Alan Langer becoming involved, getting a pass away. Certainly wasn't expected there. And Walters, I think he did come from an offside position. Probably should have been a penalty. But the Gold Coast work it away from their own line. Lewis plays it. Shearer decides to run from dummy half. Had a sensational game against Eastern Suburbs. This is Martin. Now twist. On in 17 for the coast is Wallens. Jackson. Twist. Lewis. Is there a hint of a touch in flight? Finds the line anyway. Not touched in flight. So the scrum will go down just outside the Brisbane 22. Langer to work the scrum. Just outside the quarter. No score on the board. Tony Curry. In the side for Steve Renoff. 
Walters, Gavin Allen. Able to get a one-hander back to Kerrit Walters. Runs across the park and loses ground. Picked up and bundled into the ground by Dale Shearer. That's Madison, where, sorry Pete. That's where the Gold Coast will get in trouble if they allow this Brisbane team to get their ad lib football together. They've strung together about six or seven passes here. They have to stop the football. That's got to be the main priority. Brisbane really masters at keeping the ball alive. Hancock. Gilmeister. Langer. Langer able to get it back to Kerrod Walters. Chris Johns runs the angle. Wrapped up by Horsnell. Five tackles gone now for the Broncos. Madison. Peacock. Midway between the 22 and the halfway, his own end of the ground. Peacock plays it back for Jason Twist to try and run it out. Todd. The difference between the two sides so far in the match is that Brisbane are prepared to run with support and spin the ball around. Uh, the Gold Coast defence not handling them, but on the other hand, the Gold Coast running one out, no support, and they're getting themselves in a bit of a, uh, a quagmire. Wallens. Almost on halfway. Back for Lewis. The mark of a, a great player is that they seem to create their own time. And Lewis always seems to have time. O'Neill wrapped up by Shearer. Khan. Garrett Walters. Gilmeister putting it out the back. Gold Coast come up with the football, but referee Parnaby is ordered to knock on. Crowd doesn't like it, but that's the way it is. Well, I think he's ruling that the ball was actually knocked down when the pass was attempted. We see Gilmeister try to get a ball away. Jason Twist has been judged to have the hand in the way there. And a uh, Brisbane feed means that uh, they now have the ball 35 metres out from their own line. Still no score. Madison dragged down by Brent Todd. Also Herring, the hooker. Hone. Away from uh, the tackle there by Horsnell. Almost to the halfway mark. Kerrod Walters. Khan. Robin Thorne making that tackle. Gold Coast side. Staying very much in the battle so far. But Langer tries to turn that all around. Five tackles gone. Away for Kevin Walters. Inside goes Julian O'Neill. Referee gets in the way. O'Neill puts a kick across as a chance for Hancock, but it beats into the touchline. Hancock was down there in pursuit of the kick by O'Neill, but time ran out. The coast winning the ball. Jason Twist. Thumped into the ground by Gavin Allen. Todd. Out the back she comes, so Brisbane coming up with the mistake they were working for. Walters. Walters pulled down by Peter Gill. It's starting to look ominous here for the, the Gold Coast side. Brisbane really keeping this ball alive. A simple mistake there from Todd. They string together some passes here. They'll be pretty tough to keep out, the Brisbane. Played by Lazarus. This is Gilmeister. Eight metres away from the line. Kerrod Walters looking for Langer. Langer's with it now. Kevin Walters trails him, but Langer wrapped up. Still about five or six metres out from that line. Nil all. Away now for Madison. Run around for Kerrod Walters. Now with Gavin Allen. And Allen has pulled down. Wrapped up by Wallens. Five tackles gone. Langer. Walters. Kicking ahead for his winger, but nicely read by Robin Thorne. And he gets it 10 metres out. Further than that, he's able to step away from a couple of tackles. Lewis. 
Cross now for Horstall to give it back for Lewis. In fact, for uh, the hooker, Herring. Jackson. No score. Getting close to the end of this first quarter. Gill. Inside pass for Shearer. Shearer gets a pass round the corner. Good piece of work by Dale Shearer. Four tackles gone on this set. Long ball out for Twist. That's Wallens. Peacock. Twist. That kick is going over towards Jason, uh, Justin O'Neill, or Julian O'Neill, I should say. Three times got it. O'Neill pursued by Martin and pulled down. Langer. Curry. Inside. It's Walters. Hancock. Lazarus. Madison. Home. That's better defence there from the Gold Coast. Wrapping the ball up. Jared Wallace scoots out from dummy half. Does make some good ground. They have to stop the football to stay in this contest, the Gold Coast team. Now, Alan Can is on in uh, jumper number 12. And this is Hancock. He's just riding out. You see, wherever the Brisbane players run, their support there with them. And this is something the Gold Coast are lacking. Is Langer throws out and Can makes... Khan makes a bust up the right hand side. Khan kicks ahead now. And it's going to find touch too, about seven metres out from the Gold Coast line. Touch judge coming in. As we see the action replay of Willie Khan, he got a little bit of a jostle up, but it was nothing too great. And it's Willie Kahn who, in fact, is being called out with Dale Shearer. But well, it certainly couldn't have been from that incident there. I think uh, very simple coming together of bodies and no real drama at all. Scrum won by the coast. Ten metres out from their own line. This is Thorne. Shearer. Todd. Once again, Brent Todd's been their best hit up man. He's always there to take those hard yards up the middle. But once again, they're dependent on this kicking game from Wally, making no ground at all with the ball. He's just come up with a couple of mistakes, Todd, hasn't he? He's probably carrying the ball a little bit differently because he is prepared to pass the football. And they have jolted it loose a couple of times, getting his team in trouble. It's a great chasing there from the Gold Coast team. Khan. Oh, shoulder charge on Khan. Shook him up a bit. It shook and also up. shook up the tackler. Brett Horsnell. He's come out on the wrong side of the ledger after putting that shoulder hit on. Hone. Yeah, great defence here. Horsnell flying in on Willie Khan. A little bit of help there. But uh, I think he might have been a bit sorry that he just didn't go in a bit soft around the legs. Yeah, he didn't do his Rocky Bowler much. Gotta give you the tip. There's the siren. The end of the first 20. Lang up. Chips it ahead. Peacock is there. Peacock runs it back, comes to Tony Curry, wrapped up. That's the end of the first 20 minutes, and no score on the board between Brisbane and the Gold Coast. We'll break and be back in just a moment. Start of the second quarter, welcome back. Quarter-final action of the Two East Challenge Cup for 1992. Peter Sterling and Paul Vorton with me in the commentary box with the Gold Coast doing battle with the Broncos and holding them at nil all after 20 minutes. Yes, and it's amazing they did hold them to nil all. Really a, a lot of cracks in the Gold Coast side, allowing the Brisbane team to string together so many passes. They'll need to address that problem in defence if they're going to remain in this match. Yes, the Gold Coast have struggled. They haven't actually had the ball in the opposition half as yet and uh, struggling to really to get out of their own quarter, just depending 100% on Wally Lewis's kicking game. Here's a chance for them, a penalty, holding down the play of the ball. Parnaby says you can't do that and uh, maybe they'll get in the opposition half now and put some attacking moves on. The replay of the incident upon which Parnaby ruled. 
meantime the touch finder gains another 30 meters of ground tap taken by herring and they reach the halfway mark the coast through this man brent todd who i think peter sterling said in the first 20 minutes or paul vorton maybe his hit up rate is quite enormous quite staggering seems to be there for at least one on every set of six twist for lewis penalty against broncos inside the five and here's an opportunity now for the coast to go to the lead what will wally opt for here now go, go for touch they've they've had plenty of tackles in a row here i know there's two points on the off but it's very difficult to defend against any winfield cup team for any length of time and the gold coast are on a bit of a roll there's todd again Howard came out on the uh, the wrong side of that clash jackson joined up with the seagulls from western suburbs this year origin player for the maroons twist herring twist lewis Hone. good play by the coast there they set up the blind side shot but the brisbane defense was equal to it they had the numbers there and covered it fairly easily shearer shearer to wallens wallens can he get it away this could be played off no he's ruled no try i thought it might have gone to the feet just thought for Danny Peacock it might have gone to the feet. Watch it again. Well, he got his hands to it first before it went down on the boot. It was a, a tough decision, but the referee, I think, has come up with the, with the right decision. Uh, we have a bit of a disagreement up here, but I thought the hand... Well, I, do, I don't reckon he touched it. I reckon it's a try. We'll just have another look here as the ball goes down. Brisbane team working it out. Here There's comes. the pass. Oh, I don't know if Definite he touched hand. it. Definite hand. Definite hand. Broncos now out on their own 32 through Glenn Lazarus. Jared Walters, Terry Madison on the halfway mark. Fourth tackle gone. Cam played uh, played very well against Canberra. I think I might have said that match was against Cronulla. Of course, it was the clash of the. The big guns, Brisbane and Canberra, that got us going in the two East Challenge. Tony Curry. Hancock, back he goes. He's gone back 15 metres. Lewis is after him. Hancock. Now he's got it away to Khan. Winger to winger. Put down by Cam. And uh, that's going to be a turnover. Well, a wasted opportunity there for Brisbane. The Gold Coast defence was good down this left-hand side. They had them pinned down, but Mickey Hancock is an air sensational firm early in the season. He made the break there. They had a chance down the right, but once again, the ball's been spilled. And the Gold Coast now get a chance to once again get in the Brisbane half. Played by Martin. Todd goes ahead. Right on the halfway line. Twist. Wallens. He's done some good things, this fellow. Darren Wallens. Off the bench, and uh, he's played the major part of the game so far. Horsnell. Twist. Lewis. Long ball. Landing in the chest of Danny Peacock. Five gone. Peter Gill. The kick for Wally. Little grubber. Hancock fields it. Hancock. Another good run by the winger. He's had the ball taken from him. Peacock. Just outside the quarter. Todd. Gill. Good fend off on Johns. This is Thorne. Back to the Broncos, 22. Here's Todd again. This is the second time on this set of six that he's been able to take it up. And he's lost it. He's lost the ball. I think that Michael Hancock threw the flick pass to the opposition players there. He certainly appealed as though it had been raked out. Unfortunately for the Gold Coast, they'd made a mistake a couple of tackles down the track. But a good opportunity for the Gold Coast there. Just went begging. Khan. Coast just take a little bit too long, and it'll, it'll come probably, but they'll take a bit too long to regroup and mark up, get that defensive line set. Gilmeister. Jared Walters. 
doing what he loves to do, scooting out from dummy half, reaching the halfway. Cut out ball for Langer. O'Neill. Oh, great tackle by Wally Lewis. Copy book tackle. I look like Johnny Raper. Langer. With less hair. Clinton Moore. Peacock. Lazarus making a desperate a desperate ta tackle there. Martin. Yes, we really haven't seen a lot of involvement from Paul Martin. Another good signing from the Canberra club. Plenty of, oh, good ball there for Dale Sherrett. Good defence from Langer. Now it's away for Thorne. Yeah, some good work there from the goal case. Dale Shearer got away. Langer went high. Wasn't able to affect the tackle properly, but he did stop him in his tracks. That was a dangerous piece of play. Paul Martin again goes wide, looking for support, trying to pick up his winger. Fifth tackle now. Oh, gee. Jackson got in the way of Shearer. That's a turnover. That could prove costly. You come up with the ball on the halfway mark on any set of six. That's a big plus. Hone. Garrett Walters. Have gone ahead 10 metres on two plays. Lazarus. Make that 15 on three. Garrett Walters for Langer. Kevin Walters. Long pass out to O'Neill. O'Neill throws the dummy, hits for the corner and puts it down. Runs it around, making the job of the kicker so much easier. Julian O'Neill scores the try and yeah, can go back to where they came up with the ball for that set of six. A simple mistake on the halfway mark Great by play. the coast. Look at Kevin Waller, Jesus. Very long pass. He cuts out a couple. And Julian O'Neill, Paul Martin said, I don't know what he said, but he didn't tackle him. He should have chased him and tackled him. But yeah. he didn't. He watched him run. And why he didn't tackle him, I don't really know. Yeah, very ordinary defence there from Paul Martin. Didn't come across. You see, he overread it. And Neil threw the dummy. Open space in front of him. It was a matter of time. Brisbane, all the pressure, really. And that's their first four-pointer. I don't think it'll be their last. Conversion attempt for Madison right in front. None from one for Terry Madison. Gets the extras. So Brisbane lead the Gold Coast by six points to nil. As the Broncos, haven't they? Great wingers, and uh, this Julian O'Neill has really proved a fine since Paul Hoff, the uh, Queensland State of Origin fullback, is out of the Brisbane side. O'Neill doing a good job for them. Langer making a meal of the kickoff. Wonder Fatty Vorton didn't say it was a knock-on. Away now for Lazarus. 15 all, Fatty. Now it's Mark Hone. 32 out from his own line. Gee, I like this bloke. He's a worker. Every team needs one. This bloke's the same. Can. Madison for Gilmeister. Five tackles gone for the Broncos. They lead by six. Midway through second quarter, Langer, he was felled, but the referee said play on. Peacock. Broncos aware, I think, of Peacock's ability to bring the ball back from broken play. And they put a good, uh, good chase on and a good cordon. Brent Todd again. Getting it back for the hooker. Ray Herring. Jason Twist wears the number seven today. Now this is Jackson. Lewis. Twist. Oh, tried to get through. Almost succeeded. Five tackles gone. Lewis. Going back for it as Hancock. He'll bring it back at good speed. Loves to do this. 
Apparently he must be pulled very hard to hold in tackles because he he's able to break at least the first on most occasions. He's very strong. He's got uh, a lot of upper body strength and he's very hippy. I mean, he throws his hips around and uh, it's a flower child. He's really, really strong. Hey, man. Can. Karen Walders picked up by Ken. Good backing up. Langer indicating he's going right. Lazarus. Walters. Good tackle by Peter Gill. That's the turnover. Strange play there. Yeah, bad option I felt by Brisbane there. They should have kicked that ball in their own quarter. You don't want to hang on to it for six and get caught. That's what's happened. The goal case now. What can they do? Well, here they are. Second tackle on this set. Todd. 15 out from the line. Herring. Lewis, the run around with the dummy half. Herring now, right in the centre of the ground. 15 metres out from the Broncos line. Horsnell. Horsnell held there by the Brisbane number 17, Peter Ryan. Lewis. Twist. A rake out to Martin. Martin beautifully tackled by Curry. Shearer. This is the last tackle. Twist. Cleaned up nicely by Morganson. Walters. Kerrod Wallace starting to make a lot of ground from that dummy half area. Wayne Bennett looks on. But the Gold Coast mark is not really working to perfection here. Some chasing, sometimes not. And Wallace is having a field day in there. There he is again. Chris Johns. Madison. You see how the Brisbane side always aiming to hit him behind that ruck, behind the markers, and they're making plenty of ground doing it as Langer puts the ball into the Gold Coast quarter. Long run back for Dale Shearer and Robin Thorne. Thorne comes away, Shearer goes with him. Shearer now, obliged to make a dummy half run, you would think. Not for Rowdy this time. Driving tackle on Wallens. The Coast have sent a couple of replacements into the match. Keith Miller is out there. Todd, I don't know what happened there. He ran up and seemed to just drop the football on the ground but well, i thought he was he felt he was going through as a decoy and jason twist unaware of the move that was on just gave the ball to him when he wasn't expecting it it's the old the schoolboy rule always expect a football but on that occasion todd misread it the cold case bench not looking too flash ice for danny peacock knock on by langer at the scrum base but he's going to let this go well he's real that it came off the feet takes it to within 10 metres of the line. Good support play there by Brisbane. Langer able to offload the pass to Madison. Out to Ke Kevin Walters now. Walters ridden into the ground by Martin. Nine metres from the line. Six nil in favour of the Broncos. Alan Cairn. Alan Cairn has busted him. He's got it over the line. So Brisbane go in for their second. Leading now by 10 points to nil. The try came for the second rower, Alan Can. Yeah, all the pressure starting to tell now. Alan Can simple, just stepped off the right foot. Keith Neller missed the tackle and Ray Herring on the inside didn't come over quick enough. And just a case of Alan Cairn, too good for them. A good run by the youngster. Yeah, very soft try. Cairn going in under the post. But again, it was a result of a mistake made by the Gold Coast within their own quarter. They were paid, forced to pay dearly. Alan Can, new face for us in 1992 as far as this top grade Bronco side is concerned. But he's going to do the job, there's no doubt about that. There's plenty of class about him. Madison, right in front. Should make it 12 0. Match drawing up towards half time. Madison. Makes no mistakes. Rarely does. Willie Kahn gets a break for the Broncos. Madison comes back with the bottle. 
12 nil in favour of the Broncos. And things really looking a bit dusty for the Gold Coast side now. They've, uh, they've had one chance in the Brisbane quarter. Nothing came of it. Dale Shearer restarts. Langer. Now this is uh, Darren Plowman. And Peter Ryan. So both sides utilising the unlimited interchange. Home. Madison. He's a handy player, this fellow Terry Madison. And to think that a lot of times he's the first one to head for the reserves bench with the Broncos. He must be the envy of plenty of other clubs. Langer. Sun causing a bit of a problem for that uh, winger Robin Thorne there. Shearer able to get it back for Thorne. Round one. Wrapped up by Madison. Back on his own quarter. 12-0. In favour of the Brisbane Broncos. Terry Cook. Herring. Away for uh, Miller. Conspicuous by that blonde hair. Lewis. O'Neill. Try scorer for Brisbane. Gee, came up to Wally Lewis and then he put the brakes on. Hancock. Come on. Once remember seeing Wally Lewis put a shot on Daryl Williams in a test match in uh, in Auckland, Mount Smart. And I thought I was about to see a replay of it, but uh, Julian O'Neill came to him and took a couple of steps on the one blade of grass. He put the handbrake on, a mistake here. Uh, by Brisbane, a forward pass, and now Jason twists speeds the scrum for the Gold Coast. Shearer. Shearer. Five metres into Brisbane's area. No marker, so he pinches another ten. Good work by Shearer. Got a pass out the back now. Ball played by Robin Thorne. From Cook away to twist. On to Lewis, now Wallens. Wallens, 10 metres out from the line. Lewis, twist. Turns it inside for Martin. They're only five metres out from the line. Neller, Lewis, Lewis goes the blind side and gets it down. Oh, good work by Wally Lewis. Using that brute strength of his, he knew what had to be done. Wally just took it on his own here. He said, I'll have a go at it. Put the head down. He's done that a million times as well. He brushed two of them out of the way and a good individual try for the King. Yeah, that was the end of a good passage of play for the Gold Coast. Lewis went in low. Really, the winger Hancock and Morgson had to go out to meet him. And Lewis burrowed down. Very important try. That keeps him in the game. Did it all himself, Wally Lewis. Yeah, great determination on the man's face as he came in for that try. He's now down and out. He's got the his Gregory Peck's a bit crook. He's injured, but I'm sure it'll carry on. That could be the tonic the Gold Coast need now. They've got four points on the board, possibly to be six. They haven't looked real good. They've been a bit dusty in their form, but uh, you never know what can happen in this game. Bit of a smile there on the face of Wally Lewis. Or is it a grimace? Well, the crowd giving him a right royal reception. Meantime, it's back for Dale Shearer to attempt conversion. Twenty-two metres up. Only about seven metres in from touch. Shearer. No, he's hooked it far too much. No goal for Dale Shearer. No extra points for the coast and Brisbane lead 12 points to four. There's the siren in the background, so there'll be no more. That's half time. We'll be back with more. And welcome back for the resumption of play in the match between Brisbane and the Gold Coast. Brisbane leading by 12 to 4. 
and they've done a couple of uh, very exciting things in the first 40 minutes so much so that uh, the Gold Coast have been uh, listening very intently to coach Wally Lewis on ways to remedy what could become a flood or an avalanche of tries the Broncos of course there's none better in the competition than them when it comes to uh, running in a try on you from anywhere on the field Dale Shearer kicks off to start the third quarter straight down to Alan Langer and the big man Glenn Lazarus comes back to the 22 line Gilmeister penalty goes to Brisbane against the coast dwelling too long in the tackle what silly play from the Gold Coast here they are they've got a chance to keep Brisbane down in their own territory a silly mistake like this made by Wolans holding the player down on the tackle and now the Brisbane get the opportunity to put some uh, points on back in the Gold Coast half tap to be taken just outside the 22 meter line Garrett Walters. Mark Ho. He's been Brisbane's best forward, Ray, taking those yards up, and his defence has been first class. Madison. Herring and Neller making the tackle, and we've got an injured player. Madison is hurt, and he's clutching at his, uh, his left wrist in a lot of pain. Play goes on now to the left of the ground for Brisbane. And they keep that wrap on. Can. One of the try scorers. Ten metres out from the line. Garrett Walters works a narrow blind side with Hancock. But Hancock is over that sideline. And Wayne Bennett's entitled a blow-up. That's very, very poor play there by the, the Brisbane side. A three-yard blind with four players. They just pushed him out. Yeah, it did look as though they really wanted to take Clinton Moore on in defence, just running Michael Hancock straight at him, but he was up to the task more on the wing. Scrum going down close to the Gold Coast line. They come away with it. Clinton Moore thumped to the ground. Shearer tackled by Peter Ryan. It's a name in rugby league that seems to have been around for an eternity with that one, Peter it's Ryan. There's been, been a few Peter Ryans, former North Illawarra player in Newtown, but a uh, poor mistake there by him. He's got a reputation in this Brisbane side as a big hitter. He has put a couple on so far, but if you're going to hit, you've got to get up and let the man play the ball. Touch finder for the coast. Tap taken by Herring. Todd again taking it up. This is Miller. Gold Coast trailing by eight points. Early minutes of the second half or third quarter. Gill. Jason Twist. Lewis. Langer on Lewis. Now Shearer. A lot of passing, a lot of running, but not going forward. Twist. Good ball. Very good ball there for Clinton Moore. But uh, Hancock read him. Come into my web. Charged down on the kick from Herring. Then I think Langer knocked on. He did. So, this scrum will go down. Seven or eight metres on the Gold Coast side of halfway. See it again. Definitely a knock on. I agree, Ray. Thanks, Paul. Martin probably should get himself involved more. He's got the runs on the board, and this uh, this team need him to show the way. Got to stand up and be counted more often. Twist. Miller. Lewis. Oh, he did well there with his strength. And uh, Clinton Moore tackled 32 metres out from the Broncos line. They work the blind for Brent Todd. Terry Madison there just clutching at the left shoulder. Lewis, twist, chance here for the coast. Gill 
can't get it away, but they had the numbers. Five tackles gone. Shearer up in the air. High ball. Plenty of time for the runners. Julian O'Neill can't uh, can't get a clean set of hands on it. And away goes Horsnell. Horsnell pulled down. Five metres out from the line. Certainly a chance out to the right here if they can get a quick play of the ball. Lewis has gone to the blind side. And that's the way that Herring might have forced his way out from dummy half. No good defence there from the Brisbane Broncos. It's Wallums who plays the ball. A bad pass intercepted by Langer. But the referee has called it back. He's ruled that Langer was offside. And a penalty goes to the Gold Coast. Well, Alfie must have been living offside. The referee did not hesitate. Yeah, decision here to make. Uh, Wally's decided to take the, the two points. Good decision, I feel. It's early in the second half, and they're 12-4 down. Two points will uh, certainly help their cause. Well, they're under plenty of pressure there, the Brisbane side, and Gold Coast looked as though they'd ruined it. A dummy half run there was nearly successful. And the ball going wide and astray. Langer picked it up, found himself in open spaces. But the referees decided in this passage of play, the Brisbane defence offside, and there's the penalty. Dale Shearer. None from one. Very easy kick for two points. So the coast come back to 12 points to six down against the Broncos. Crowd. Not too many of them have uh, left the Eric Weisel Oval at Wagga. They've had a thoroughly entertaining day. And they're back and in the hunt, the Gold Coast now. Ray, that two points there brings it within a converted try. 12 points to six, they're close enough. Well, he can to get us off and... Back into the action with the Two East Challenge Cup. Semi-final waiting for the winner of this match. Nilla. Can went high. Taking the ball carrier. That's the way the coach would want it. One on one, that's the way you've got to go these days. Gill. He seems like a rejuvenated player, Peter Gill. I saw him play with St George and I thought... Yeah, maybe, but he's playing all right with the coast in the two matches we've seen. Well, he's been given a, a deal of re responsibility here by Wally to get the forwards going. He, he's quite skillful around those rucks. The goal case in some trouble here. Shear always oh, reeled it forward, the pass, and now Brisbane get a chance. Well, there's no doubt about it. It was a forward pass from Lewis to Shearer. And full marks to Lazarus. He was the man that put the pressure on Lewis. Yeah, Here I it thought, is again. thought Wally had time to get the kick in in the first place, but... Langer, Walters, the Broncos now. With five tackles remaining to make uh, Gold Coast pay for that penalty or pay for the mistake. Carr, Curry, Walters, Can. Nella makes the tackle. Can looking to offload. Walters, Gilmeister. Jared Walters again. Langer, wide ball for Johns. Twister's got him, but Johns thought was going to spin out of it. Five gone. And the Broncos didn't seem to have much urgency in that passage of play. O'Neill's kick straight down the, the throat of the Gold Coast player. Now it's with Shearer. Nella. Good defence there by Kerrod Wilders and Hone came over the top. Solid hit. Herring. Penalty to Gold Coast. Now, he's calling out Alan Langer. He wants to talk to Alan Cairn. Well, I think he's called both captains out here. Wally Lewis has been called across as well. I just think the referees are getting fed up with the the play the ball situation, plenty of untoward stuff going on in there. We see another penalty here for holding down. And it's not the first time we've seen it in one of these two inch challenge games. Lewis. 
Finding the line. 10 metres on the Bronco side of halfway. And the Seagulls trailing by six. Todd. Nella. Good tackle by the Axe. Gilmeister. Boschnell. Centre of the ground, 22 out. Gold Coast fanning back this way. Plenty of troops out here now. Shearer. Pass picked up by Martin. Off the ground by Lewis. Lewis gets it just inside the quarter. Herring. Gill. Twist. Cuts out Wallens. Ball put down over there by Clinton Moore. Well, Clinton Moore had the biggest peg you've ever seen there. Saw the player running at him, just dropped it cold. The shocker. Gilmeister. Lazarus. There she comes. She's popped out. Brisbane leading the Gold Coast by 12 points to six. At the 32. Good opportunity here for the Seagulls. Lewis works the angle with Shearer. Shearer flicks it out the back for Martin. 32 metres out from the Broncos line. Lewis puts on a little hit and spin for Herring. Todd. Gill. Lewis. Lewis, he's got numbers. Martin, back inside for Gill. Gill, he's over. It's a try. Gold Coast has struck back. You can go back and relate that to the coughed up ball from Glenn Lazarus, and then this all happened. And Wally hold the ball up well. Paul Martin ran into the hole. A good inside ball there. Plenty of defence. Some ordinary tackles there. And Peter Gill scores the try. Yeah, well-deserved try for Peter Gill, too. He starts it. There's a good short ball to Wally Lewis. He kept himself alive. Gill received the inside one and did some work to score this try, too. A bad tackle there from Peter Ryan. Just gets it down in time. 12 points to 10 in favour of Brisbane. And we've got uh, quite a match on our hands as far as that scoreline is concerned. When Brisbane ran in their points early, it was generally thought they would run in a big score against the Gold Coast but such hasn't been the case Wally Lewis comes off and the Gold Coast capital capitalizing on some ordinary Brisbane play Dale Shearer's got the big kick coming up now Shearer one from two he's on the tee bar this to equalize no way Hooking it very badly. Rowdy hasn't got his boots on today. 12-10 in favour of Brisbane over the coast. Terry Madison still on the bench, just trying to get some feeling back into that left shoulder. Willie Kahn about to get us going. Wally Lewis taking some, uh, some time off. And both the coaches sporting similar haircuts. Kahn kicks off. I'm not touching it. <laughs> they have turned this game around the Gold Coast. And for all money, it looked as though the Broncos weren't going to have too many troubles putting them away. They were making good ground with the ball, plenty of busts. The Gold Coast have tightened up and, and the Broncos have lost their way. A bit come up with some very simple mistakes in some very poor positions. Dale Shearer. Big bounce and favourable for O'Neill. Sun sinking behind the grandstand and now this this ground shrouded in the, the nightfall as it starts to creep on very poetic can yeah what brisbane need here is some running like this from alan can but they need two or three forwards going at once with a bit of support putting pressure on the defense it hasn't happened in this quarter so far langer pulled down by Mella, 10 meters into the Seagulls half. From Gilmeister to Hone. Hone turns on the inside ball. Walters put it down. 
Shearer couldn't do any more with it. He'd done his job. But it'll be a scrum with the Gold Coast, loose and feed. Yeah, good pass there by Trevor Gilmey. Should have put Hone into the gap, the inside ball, but Dale Shearer was up to the task. And a crunching tackle there on Kevy Walters. The Coast winning the scrum. Langer and, uh, and Hancock wrapping up the runner. Jason Twist, Gill, easily getting over the ad line, but he's taken it into touch on the second. Yeah, can't, well, can't be happy. That's that's poor play, and he knows it too. He's throwing the ball away as he gets up. You just can't get go near the sideline. He's run into plenty of defence here. No, no trouble taking him over. Broncos, they come away with the football, which they really shouldn't have at the moment. Oh, look at Johns carving them up. Getting play eight metres into the Gold Coast's uh, half. And again, what I was saying to you earlier, Paul, look at them, trying to regather and regroup in a straight line. It seems to take them quite a time. It does, they're a bit ragged out on the left here. Walters. Good tackle, Dale Shearer, once again. The spread's onto the right here. The Brisbane want to, want to bring it back. Johns. Well, he's given the penalty to the Gold Coast. Yes. Now he's ruled here a deliberate forward pass. Yeah, that's a tough decision. I, I thought the, the ball went forward. I don't know how deliberate. Dummy half looked up and the player had already overrun him, Chris Johns. But nine times out of ten, they put a scrum down. Well, I think it's good he's given a, uh, a penalty because it's a very rare one, but quite often it's, it's the right one to give. Can you work that out? Yes, I can. Okay. Taken by Herring, given to Todd. Now, what's happened? The second ball on the ground. I thought he'd lost it. Nella. Twist away for Shearer. Cut out ball to Martin. Langer. Snappy little tackle. Reserves getting ready to come on. On mass. Well. Peacock. Herring did a complete 360. Couldn't see anybody. Second time round, he found Peacock. Robin Thorne. He's going over the touchline. Another blue made by the Gold Coast, but uh, where was the Gold Coast support to try and help the player stay inside? He was one on three and never a chance of staying inside there. Should have been some players. Look, there's five yards out. Plenty of time for some Gold Coast players to help him there. Scrum has been won by the Broncos. They're just outside their own quarter. 15 is back into the battle, and that is Plowman. The thing we haven't seen a lot of is, is running from Alan Langer. He certainly had a busy game and distributed very well, but he hasn't taken the defence on very much himself. I just wonder, with the scoreline be, being so close, now may be the time where he just puts on some of that attacking magic. Gilmeister and Walters handled nicely before giving it off to Khan. Yeah, Trevor Gilmeister's skills have really improved uh, since he went to Brisbane. That year at East we had together must have done him the world of good. Langer. Very modest comment there from Paul Vorton. You're welcome. Halfway line on your screen. Didn't do me much good. Madison's kick is a pearler. Finding the line only 10 metres away from the, the Gold Coast try line. Yeah, very much parry thrust, parry thrust this game. And the Gold Coast but working away particularly well. You'd still say that the Brisbane team looked that little bit more dangerous with the attack. But it is 12-10 and the Gold Coast really holding their own now. Peacock folding in from the back. Twist. Now this is uh, Terry Cook. Just beyond the quarter line and driving tackle, crunching stuff. Plowman for one and Can the other. Miller. Todd turned it inside for Dale Shearer. Back for Nella. Twist. Moore. Taken by Morganson now for Brisbane. Yeah, better play there by the coach. You can see a bit of support play coming into it. They made a bit of ground up that right hand side. <laughs> yeah, the support play was Willie Morganson. Yeah. Langer kicks ahead. He's been fouled. The referee will give the penalty. 
Langer taken out of the game after kicking the ball. Penalty where it lands. And so Langer takes the kick for touch. There's the incident on replay. Tap to be taken by Madison. Lazarus. A couple of the big men up and then Langer will be wanting it. There's the siren. It's too late for that. And at the end of the third quarter, Brisbane lead the Gold Coast by 12 points to 10 in the quarterfinal of the Two East Challenge Cup. For the final section of this match, the fourth quarter, Brisbane leading Gold Coast by 12 to 10. In front of the crowd here at the Eric Weisel at Wagga. Twilight creeping on as Willie Kahn brings it out towards his quarterway line. Tackles in the match, some of the bigger tacklers, Lazarus 21, Madison 20, Hone 18, Gold Coast Gill 18, Todd 15, Herring 14. A bad mistake made by the Brisbane side. Scrum fed and won, but same tunnel. Locked forward, Peter Gill picks it up at the back of the scrum. Danny Peacock, forward pass. Peacock, underneath all that. Nothing in it, really. Well, we see a good line ball pass. Well, it might have been a touch forward. Danny Peacock touch on the fly. Forward. All right, it was forward. Yeah, basic errors there by the Gold Coast. Folding in from that right wing to make the extra take the 5 8 roll from the scrum. Plowman. Big, strong, this youngster. Hone. Great effort. Right through the game, he's always been chipping in. So to this man, particularly second half, Trevor Gilmeister. Lazarus. Karen Walters for Alan Langer. That bounce of the ball is absolutely wrong-footed. Uh, Robin Thorne, so the scrum is to go down 15 metres away from the coastline. Peacock again. It does seem as though Wally Lewis may have hurt himself when he did score that try. He did grab up around the neck region. And uh, I'd have thought that he'd have been looking to come out into this last quarter. It was the game so close to take a bit of control, but that neck may be worrying him. We may not see him again in this match. Nella. Away for twist. Now it's... Uh... Wolens. He's Wolens, a, a, you're quite right. He's good been game strong. too. Played yeah. very well for them. Terry Cook. Five tackles gone for Shearer to clear. Not a good kick from Dale Shearer. Hancock back at fullback now. Picked up in defence by the hooker, Herring. Yeah, good chase there by Herring. The goal case, they didn't do much with the ball there, only making 10 yards in, uh, in five tackles. And they're really struggling now with the ball. Good ball by uh, Kevin Walters back for Willie Kahn. And they've coughed it up, and it's going to be a scrum. Willie Kahn not impressed with the referee's uh, decision. Touch judge coming in. See it again. Well, we're very lucky to get away with that, I think. The goal coach, it did look as though the ball was wrench free by one of their players. Willie Kahn certainly thought so, and he appealed for a penalty not to be. Now the Broncos get the penalty off the touch judge report. He's indicated that there was an elbow in the tackle, the touch judge that is, and so the penalty goes to the Broncos. See it again. Yeah, yeah. from Shearer. Shearer. 
Yeah. Obviously, Brent Todd is taking over as captain of the Gold Coast side while Wally's on the bench, and he was there to uh, hear the report on Dale Shearer. Tap taken by Kerrit Walters. Ahead goes Hone. 18 metres out from the line now. Gil Meister, Lazarus. 20 metres out, right in the centre of the ground, leading by two points, Brisbane. Madison, back for Kerrit Walters. Now with Langer. Langer around the back for Hancock. Held by Jason Twist momentarily. Cleaned up by Brent Todd. They have got a big forward caught out in the back line here. The Gold Coast team look a bit vulnerable out wide. Kevin Waller comes up with a drop ball. Flicks it up to his brother. Kevin Walters. Hammer to the ground on the quarter way line. Kevin Walters. Langer. Cut out ball, finding Tony Curry. They might do it here. No Morganson. Morganson has tackled on five, close to the line. Langer, long ball out to Hone. Now with Kevin Walters. Came down off a Gold Coast player. It's all over the place, and the referee is going to put a. What's he putting? A scrum down? I thought it might have even been the turnover. Brisbane feed. I think he ruled an accidental offside there on the Gold Coast side. Scrum 12 metres away from the Gold Coast line. The Broncos feed. Langer. Long ball for Walters. Hancock. 12 metres from the line. First tackle on this set. Madison. That's uh, Tony Curry trying to get it back for Morganson. Takes the tackle. Now it's out with Madison again. Morganson. Morganson. No, he's short. And he knocked on, so it's going to be a scrum five metres away from the Gold Coast line. Some great scrambling there from the Gold Coast once again. Peacock came up with a try saver in the quarter. Morganson reaching out, just short. Good defence from the Gold Coast. The ball went astray. Seagulls. They've been faced with a territorial disadvantage since the start of the final quarter. Been down here for a goodly part of the game in this last section. 12-10 in favour of Brisbane. Nella. Shearer. O'Neill. Ian Wood is uh, out there for the Gold Coast. Playing in jumper number 16. I thought he played all right against Eastern Suburbs. Ian Wood, here's Chris Johns. Johns about 35 metres out from the line. Madison. Not tackled, that's fair play. Kevin Walters. Kevin Walters, 15 metres out from the line. Langer. That's Kevin Walters. Across, finding uh, Gilmeister. He's 12 metres out. Langer. Langer puts it into the uh, in goal area. Cleaned up by Danny Peacock. Very good. Uh, Anticipation there by Peacock. He read the Alan Langer's play to a nicety. Crowd giving Wally around as he prepares to go back into the action with Steve Jackson. And that'll be a big psychological boost to the case too with the captain and coach coming back on. I'm sure he's going to have an influence as Dale Shearer makes a bust on his own 22. Gets a good pass away to support. Now Ian Wood knocks on. Herring it was, the hooker who backed up Dale Shearer. And then Ian Wood, number 16, has put it down. Well, there's a big chance here for the coast to big break up the middle by Shearer, but the last pass going astray once again. 12-10 in favour of Brisbane then. And the Broncos get set to launch another raid. Kevin Walters. Get up, get up! Khan. Lazarus taking the ball on.
on the advantage line and gaining 10 metres. Sloppy play the ball. Penalty goes to the Broncos. And 10 minutes in the bin for Nella. Number 15, Nella, has been sent to the send bin for 10 minutes. Well, we saw the referee about 10 minutes ago complain to both captains about that particular happening, and it's happened once, once too often for the referee's liking. And 10 minutes in the bin for Nella. Decided to kick for touch, no kick for goal. A confident call by the Brisbane side. Karen Walters, Michael Hancock. They've used him a lot today, Hancock. Now, it's play on. Hancock very close to the line. Karen Walters, Madison, wrapped up by the defence, forced back 12 metres from his own line. Now the ball comes loose, this will have to be a penalty. Penalty to the Broncos, will they knock it back again? Yes, they do. Langer, Gold Coast coming up very quickly, Kevin Walters. Shearer read that play very well. He was up sweating on Kevin Walters long before he had the football. Now they've lost it, but they've got it back. And six more tackles comes with it. Kieran Walden. The vulnerable out this side. We've got a Steve Jackson up in the line. Only Ian Wood outside him. But they turn the ball back inside. I still think this is a danger place over this sideline. Lazarus. 12 metres out from the line. Gold Coast minus one at the moment. Penalty. Handling the ball in the contest. Well, he's got him here. Glenn Lazarus, a bad mistake by him. He never released the ball, according to the referee. It looked like he did there, but he didn't actually kick it forward with his toe, which is supposed to. The rule says it must, the ball must travel forward if you want to play the ball. Forward. And the Gold Coast needed that, I'll give you the tip. They've defended well. Brisbane have had 10 or 12 tacklers in a row there, and the Gold Coast have held them out. 12-10. Jackson. Lewis. Short ball for Ian Wood. Very close to the line. Lewis knew the urgency of it. He went in to try and keep the youngster in the field of play. Oh, nearly an intercept. It's Martin now. Shearer. Peacock. Peacock. Back it goes for Twist. 32 metres out. The kick ahead. The little fellow's been pulled down. This has got to be a penalty shot. Sure. Penalty try, maybe. He wasn't going to award it. It's just as well the touch judge came in because it had been real play on. Certainly interference there on Jason Twist. Very important decision going the Gold Coast way here. Let's See it look again. Look. Here it is. Here it is. Watch uh, Julian O'Neill. Penalty goes to Gold Coast. Well, I reckon if that ball had gone over the try line, it was dead set a penalty try. He was tackled without the ball. Did he get 10 minutes, Ray? Not that I, uh, not that I can see. Our view of that uh, that corner. They've taken a tap, a Here's quick tap. Lewis, Lewis gets it back inside for Shearer. Shearer gets it away for Peacock. Peacock, eight metres out from the line. Shearer, bad pass. Picked up now by Terry Cook. Cook is held, 12 metres from the line. Gold Coast trailing by two. Away now for in jumper number 15. Miller is it? Away for Jackson. Five metres from the line. Well, he's lost the ball. I find that an incredible decision not to kick the goal in that instance. They've come up with the mistake. Absolutely incredible. They didn't kick the goal to even this game up. Peacock. Peacock for the Gold Coast. Martin. Martin comes to Morganson. are two behind but they're storming home oh and what a time to make a mistake what a time to come up with an error 
pressure was mounting. It was really testing the Broncos out. Hancock now. Brisbane by 12 to 10. Weathering the storm and what a controversial storm it was. Madison offloading for Curry. Kevin Walters, Langer working the blind. Chris John. Play very close to the halfway. Cam. Five gone. And uh, there'll be a couple of decisions that will be discussed, I guess, in team circles long after this match is over. Gold Coast had a chance there to level this match and take it into extra time. Well, that's a decision, the tough one that the captain has to make. But really, under those circumstances, big hit there from Lazarus. If you don't score the try, then it's the wrong decision. And that's how it's turned out for the Gold Coast. Wallen. Jackson. Midway between the 22 and halfway, his own end of the field. Lewis, Shearer. Martin. Five tackles gone. That pass from Lewis, a long one across to Cook. Center kick there by Robin Ford. Julian O'Neill on a long run back. O'Neill. Outside the quarter. really endearing themselves here at Wagga to the, the underdog side, the Gold Coast. Lazarus, they're willing them to score, but the Broncos lead by 12 to 10. Langer, Kevin Walters, Madison. You've got to give the case some credit here, Ray. They haven't played well, but gee, they've defended well, control, holding this Broncos side who are full of Mega stars to two tries has been a big effort by them. Now it's uh, Julian O'Neill. Long run up the centre. Five gone. Langer might elect to push the football here. Gilmeister. Yes, they're putting it through the hands. That came off a Gold Coast player. Morganson. Six more tackles. So, Brisbane have got a great chance here. Gold Coast player still getting back in the line. Langer, Kerrit Walters, way out to Hancock now. Gill, he gets the ball for Khan. Khan on Shearer. Khan, 10 metres out. Can he get the ball for Hancock? No. Two metres from the line now. The Broncos trying to put the nail in the coffin. Home, home very close to the line. Thought about a double movement, but then... Takes the tackle and plays the ball. They must score left. They only have to go wide to Morganson. They've turned it inside. Gilmeister. Nine metres out from the line. They've still got the numbers on the left, Brisbane. If it goes to Langer, he'll use the long ball, probably. Out it goes. Morganson takes it on the bounce. Five tackles gone. Well, I would have thought they were odds on to score a try off that set of six, Brisbane. Grubber by Langer, cleaned up by Peacock, but they'll get the ball back for six more. Yeah, some of their options, Brisbane, has, haven't been the best ones. They had uh, numbers out to the left there, four on three, on three consecutive tackles, didn't really use them. Those long cutout passes, they're okay, but uh, only when you've got the overlap. Penalty to Brisbane. The ball did not go the required distance. Well, this will be very interesting. Certainly Wally Lewis and the Gold Coast players believe it did. Referee gesturing that there was a push in the play. We see here the short dropout taken. Kerrod Walters moves in to cover up. Well, it's difficult to pick it up from that angle, but it appears as though the ball very close to going 10 metres as Madison gestures the shot at goal. Yeah, Terry Madison will take the attempted penalty. The rule book says that the ball must go forward 10 metres from a line dropout or from a 22 metre dropout or from a 
a restart to play but on that occasion the Lewis drop kick didn't make it on its own and it got some assistance off the hands of another Gold Coast player the referee ruled that Terran Wallace didn't get involved at all Madison from right in front he will extend the Brisbane lead to four points and the full-time Huda is almost upon us locks himself out from the outside agencies Madison only just clearing the crossbar but that's good enough and 14 points to 10 in favour of Brisbane there's the siren this match is all over coach Wayne Bennett will take the Broncos now to a semi-final engagement it smiles all round at the end of this game then Brisbane defeating Gold Coast by 14 points to 10 and I'll come back Brisbane defeating Gold Coast by 14 points to 10 and that takes them to the semi-finals of the Tui's challenge there's the man of the match Karen Walters for Tui's a grand display he was busy in both attack and defense tremendous performance by Kerry tonight Wally Lewis seems to be enjoying himself little little half Nelson there headlock for his old mate Alan Langer footy tab $77.90 I hope you got a headlock on footy tab tonight $77.90 not much but then it's better than nothing and that reminds me that on Tuesday night on the nine network